Nick Jonas isn't letting the title sex symbol get to his head. The 28-year-old heartthrob told GQ Hype that he thinks being considered a sex symbol is quote, flattering, but he doesn't take it too seriously. Quote, I just learned to laugh about it and think about the fact that my parents are probably reading some of the comments. It's not something I wear as a badge of honor. I tend to try not to think about it because it would make me feel a little embarrassed, the Spaceman singer said. Nick has been in the spotlight for more than a decade. His career took off in the mid-2000s on Disney Channel alongside his brothers, Joe and Kevin. During the interview, he was asked if he thinks his good looks impacted his career, even in a negative way. Quote, I don't know if I'm at liberty to say that or not because it's something about me, he said. That certainly doesn't affect my ability to appreciate someone else's work, but we don't all think the same way, so I'm not sure. I can understand that it is a thing. Nick also talked about body image, specifically people saying he had a dad bod a few years ago, saying those comments can be dangerous. Quote, I think when it's comments attached to things like appearance and body image, that's when it can become quite dangerous because no one ever knows what someone is going through or how it affects them personally, he said. They're very sensitive topics. But in the same way, you live a public life and therefore parts of your life are going to be talked about. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's fair. It's just part of your reality. Nick has been busy lately working on some solo projects. He released his album Spaceman in March and is currently a judge on The Voice and is going to host the 2021 Billboard Music Awards. But don't worry, Jonas Brothers fans, the band isn't going anywhere. The brothers recently spoke to Access Hollywood Zuri Hall, and they said the band is obviously still together. First of all, uh, two years back together now. It's been two years since you announced that you were getting the band back together. Uh, so what's different this time around? Obviously, we've watched you guys. We've loved your music for so many years. How are you switching up on us? How are you switching it up on us these days? Um, we are uh, switching it up by being in the midst of a global pandemic and not be able to spend <laughs> any time together. Um, you know, it's been obviously a crazy year for everybody and uh, we're navigating it as a family best we can, but also as bandmates. And that's by just staying as kind of close contact as we can and in the various ways that we, we do so. And also a few rare uh, uh, you know, occasions when we've been able to see each other in person, which has been really nice. Yeah. 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 As brothers and bandmates, is it safe to say you're stronger than ever? Recently with Nick releasing this project and, uh, you know, Spaceman and then being able to do that and us have the ability to support it and ex be excited about it. And then knowing where, you know, that the band is obviously still together, still doing its thing is exciting and just shows kind of like all the different sides of everything we can do, mm -hmm. which is really cool. And Kevin, we loved your SNL cameo when Nick was hosting. Whose idea was that? How did that moment come together? Because it was hilarious. It's actually Nick's. Um, I I think you what called me and like pitched it before you even got like to the writers' room. I think that was the way it worked, right? Yeah. Well, I I figured um, you know it would be good to have at least one person in the audience I knew would laugh at my jokes, and so <laughs> okay. I called, called Kevin to to come and and be there. Yes. And I had a couple other friends that were, were present. Okay. <laughs> um, but I was I was happy Kevin decided to do it. It was a good time. It was yeah. great. 